that access to safe drinking water is not only a challenge in Freetown, but in the entire country. This explains why His Excellency has clearly articulated that in several occasions as part of the new direction policies, which means today providing safe drinking water to Sierra Leoneans is part of the strategic priorities of the new direction. So I'm very happy to be here to grace this occasion. Like the minister already said, you know, the Guma Valley was established to support 500,000 people. And over the years, the population in Freetown has grown that capacity. So we have witnessed a situation where the growth in the number of inhabitants have overcome the infrastructural capacity to provide water to the population. So today, it is clear that the Guma Valley can no longer cater for the two million inhabitants. It is against this backdrop that we thought as a government to brace that challenge and opt for a radical intervention. Vice President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Dr. Julia Jallo, speaking there during the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Water Resources of the Republic of Sierra Leone and China Geoengineering Corporation on the Roquel River Scheme at State House on Thursday, 25th October 2018. Vice President Julia Jallo forwarded that the President's decision to prioritize access to safe drinking water is strategic in the fact that it is interwoven into the potential success or failure of all other plans, especially the free education implementation and reduction of teenage pregnancies. First, it is expected that the new scheme will expand water supply to Freetown and the very urban communities as well as provide quality, sustainable water supply to enable families, because when we go out during the period of the campaign, particularly to the outskirts of Freetown, this was one of His Excellency's campaign promises, so that at least families will have access to water, so that kids that spend all their time Fetching water for their household will now have more time to undertake their studies. So we expect that this project will respond to those needs. Given an overview of the project, Minister of Water Resources Dr. Bonafatengbe stated that given the challenges encountered in water distribution to the population, a significant secondary source is of the utmost importance. We live in a demanding times for water in Sierra Leone, and in particular Freetown, the capital city. The Ministry of Water Resources faces complex challenges that have profound implications of water deliverables throughout the country. Every part of the district must address the rise in water inequalities. These public water challenges are complex and interlinked by district and can be tackled by working together at all levels individuals, local, regional, and national. These challenges call for a new ways of working and for policy coherence built through engaging civil society, the private sector, household, and individuals. Minister Tengbe forwarded that Potloko has been selected as the site for the expanded project, given its year-round availability of water. The implementing agency of the Ministry of Water Resources for the Rukia River Project and the sub-agency will be the Guma Valley Water Company. The location is at Port Local District, close to the bank of the Rukai River and the Rukai Village. The site selection is based on the year-round water availability in the Rukai River. Obviously, I've already highlighted the beneficiaries, that is, those in the peri-urban areas of Freetown, Waterloo Highway, along the Waterloo Highway. So that is why I initially said it would be like up to 2 million people. The local River Expansion Scheme is expected to commence after assessment by the China Geoengineering Corporation, expected to have been concluded in six months' time. Sarah Kale reporting for Star.